Jay's Max, good afternoon, Donald Bloomdale. <laughs> Pretty close, it's Bloomdale, B L O M D A H L. But I'll take Bloomdale. <laughs> Jay's Max, thanks for being first in the chat. All right. So we are doing well today. Gonna get ready to get started here. I'll try and fix that when we get to it. Just gonna wait a couple of minutes here before we do get started. Kind of felt like a red, white, and blue day today. Kind of felt like a red, white, and blue day today. Sorry, spell check. Oh, that's okay. If you're on the computer, sometimes when you start typing in the channel name, um, if you do the at sign, uh, the at sign, um, I'm going to show you. Oops. If you put the at sign, then you can click on the person's channel name and say, Good morning. Kind of like I just did right here. Boom. There you do. If you put that at sign on there, uh, Jay, um, great background. Very colorful. <laughs> yes, I thought we'd start out and do something very, of course, this is going to be the main thrust of the break today. going to open up this hobby box here of Gypsy Queen. The hobby box of Gypsy Queen 2020. Oops. I knew I had that setting on the edge there. My red, white, and blue. I'm hoping maybe, uh, Somebody else shows up today. Robert Hone is in the house. How you doing there, Robert? Had to make a quick, oops, fix something real quick there. See if I can slide this over just a little bit. Just in the interim as we wait for a few people to show up in here today. Um, hopefully you guys are doing well today. All right. So, yep. We're going to have some fun. Again, I mixed it up just a little bit today. Seeing if somebody else shows up in the stream. Somebody was asking me about this card I pulled yesterday from uh, the Fairfield box. So, uh, fine, Donald. Thank you. No problem, Robert. Um, okay, I'll do that. Thank you, at Donald Blumdahl. <laughs> that was pretty close there with the thumbs up. Thanks there, Jay's Mix. Yeah, when if you're on your computer and you start typing and the person's in the channel, it'll show you their their channel name and then you just click on their name and it'll add it into the chat. So you'll get the whole channel link basically. And the whole title. So Donald Blomdahl, by God's grace. But you know, just different things we learn as we go through our YouTube adventure. Okay, so again, we'll wait until, I was hoping to get on here earlier, but I was running a little bit late, had to take care of a few things real quick, hopped on here, so we will go to 1040, and then we will get started here. I'm going to go in, in uh, three different stages. Um, I'll talk about this one here first, all four I guess, I'll talk about this card that I pulled yesterday. All right, Robert says he'll be right back. No problem there, Robert. And then we'll uh, open this uh, 2020 opening day hanger box. 40 cards in that one. And then we'll open up the 2020 Tops Baseball Series 1 hanger box with 67 cards in it. Usually it has a fat pack in there unless you get a, a hit. And then it might have 60 to 65 cards depending on what type of hit they put in there. And then after that, we will get into this hobby box here. And it does say you get two on-card autographs per box. So we'll see what we get in there. And it says it may contain, contain redemption cards with expiration dates. No purchase necessary. See pack for details. All right. So we do... At the two-minute mark here, I'll get ready to uh, get everything in place here for uh, opening up these products. And that is what we will do. 
Okay, so I'll explain this USA flag and why I've got that in front and center here right now. And then we'll open up the 2020 opening day, 2020 top series one. And then we will open up the uh, 2020 uh, Gypsy Queen uh, hobby box. So that will be very cool. All right. So we do have 1038 here. Let me go ahead and move my USA flag down here. Sorry, Bryce Hopper. I'm just going to cover you up for a second here. Um, move some of these out of the way so I have room here. And then, um, let's see, I'll put I'll put the uh, opening day right in the back here. We'll put the Bryce Harper right here for now until we get to open, ready to open that box up. Um, let's see, let me scooch this over a little bit. You can see Kevin's card collecting is over here, kind of uh, watching over the whole operation here, along with my checklist. And then... Uh, I, I am down to nine cards now on this one here. Um, I believe it was on Ethan's stream last yesterday. I, I got the Albert Pool holes on the way. And then I think, uh, from what I remember right, Robert said he would have the Dwight Gooden coming my way. All right. So those are the two that I do have on their way in. Let me uh, update this real quick while we're at it. For my uh, pool holes, Albert pool holes interim. I just put an X there. That means it's most likely on its way from two cards that are promised from some other people in the channels. So let me uh, put my checklist back in, in the temporary top holder here. And I'm going to let Kevin keep watch on that one. He'll keep watch on that one. Um, I'll set my USA card right off to the side here. Here, just for now, I'll kind of set that US, USA card right up there for now. All right. And so, bum, bum, bum. I'm trying to think. Let's see. If I do this right, I think I can do this. Let me uh, Let me move the Gypsy Queen out of the way for now. I'll put it right here like this. Still have Kevin peeking out between the, the boxes there. Um, put my tops 2020 right up there. Shift this up just a little bit more. And again, we will get into now our uh, opening day. Our opening day box here. First and foremost. Okay. And we'll see what kind of hits we can get out of this one right here. So without further ado... Others will probably show up. Hopefully by that time I'll be opening up the hobby box. But we will get started with the top 2020 opening day hanger box for this opening day product. And it does have a USA theme. Oh, I, I mentioned I was going to go over this. So yeah, so this card right here I pulled out of the, the Fairfield Friday box yesterday. And I thought that was pretty cool looking card. I'm like, a flag? Why is the flag there like that? And this is, of course, from the 1991 score product. It is card number 737, in case you're wondering. And on the back of the card, it says, We pray for the safe return of all Americans involved in Operation Desert Storm and for peace throughout the world. All right. So that is the story behind the USA card there. And I know there's a big uh, USA uh, baseball card collector in our community. Don't know for sure if he'll show up today. I mentioned in Ethan's stream last night that I would highlight this card. So I wanted to do that at the beginning of the video. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get this opening day box opened here. Um, doesn't look like we've got anything super big in there. You can see the security tag there. So we are opening the Tops 2020 opening day. And there we go. We got an AJ Puck with the Oakland Athletics right on the top. And a Whit Merrifield right on the bottom. So we will see... We'll 
what if any good cards we can pull out of this one. Again, 40 cards in here. And let's see what we can find here. I think we did get a shiny. Usually you get at least one shiny opening day card, with the, which I class as error cards. And it looks like we do have about five people in the stream right now. Make sure you give me my thumbs up in the stream. Thumbs up in the stream. I'd appreciate it. So let's get through this first box right here. Opening day, AJ Puck with the Oakland Athletics rookie card. Opening day, Miguel Cabrera with the Detroit Tigers. Um, Tommy Edmond with the St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, Raphael Devers with the Boston Red Sox. And then we've got uh, a, a vertical card here, Trevor Story with the Colorado Rockies. We've got the Mike Soroka, Atlanta Braves, Gold Cup card. All right, it goes over there with the rookies and future stars and such. Uh, Max Scherzer with the Washington Nationals. Gavin Lux, there we go. Nice, good Gavin Lux, one of the four top rookies you can get out of 2020 tops. Uh, Brandon Woodruff with the Milwaukee Brewers. Um, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. with the Toronto Blue Jays. So it looks like it's mainly just hanging out in the chat as Jays Mix and Robert Hone. Robert is back at 1040. All right. So, and then we've got a Christian Yelich. Christian Yelich with the Milwaukee Brewers. Then we've got Jack Flaherty with the St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, Clayton Kershaw with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Um, Abraham Toro with the Houston Astros rookie card. Fernando Tatis Jr. Gold Cup rookie card. Or Gold Cup. Basically, you get the Gold Cup from going to the, uh, going to the All-Star game. Okay, so he did that and qualified for that area. I think they choose one from each position in each leg. Um, Rice Hoskins with the Philadelphia Phillies. Um, Starling Marte. Starling Marte with the Pittsburgh Pirates. And there we have it, our foil uh, short print card Mookie Betts with the Boston Red Sox. Of course, March 26th, 2020 is not opening day for baseball. So that makes it kind of like an error card, if you want to look at it that way. Then we've got opening day for the Washington Nationals. Stadium card. And then opening day for the Cincinnati Reds. Stadium card. This is right in the center of the pack when you get your insert cards. We got a Justin Verlander. Justin Verlander with the Houston Astros. That's a sticker, sticker card there. All right. Then we've got a spring it has sprung Willie Mays card. That's a cool looking card. Willie Mays. All right. Now it looks like we're back to the remainder of the pack, which would most likely be just common cards. Matt Carpenter with the St. Louis Cardinals. Then we've got Jorge Polanco. Jorge Polanco with the Minnesota Twins. Um, Garrett Cooper with the Miami Marlins. Um, Jacob DeGrom with the New York Mets. Corey Seager with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Kyle Seager's his brother. He plays for the Seattle Mariners. All right. Uh, JT Realmuto with the Philadelphia Phillies. Boom, our first Seattle Mariner, Omar Narvaez, the catcher, 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 the catcher for the Seattle Mariners. First Seattle Mariner of the day. Buster Posey with the San Francisco Giants. Um, Elvis Andrus with the Texas Rangers. Shout out to El Ethan's Elvis Covers and More. Was in his sale last night. He had a real good sale, as always. Bunch of auction battles going on last night with 
some good cards he had. All right. And then we've got here, we've got uh, Ian Kennedy with the Kansas City Royals. Uh, Trent Grisham with the San Diego Padres rookie card. Then we've got Mike Clevenger with the Cleveland Indians. Um, Nick Senzel with the Cincinnati Reds. Um, Yoan Moncada with the Chicago White Sox. Michael Chavez with the Boston Red Sox. Okay, Javier Baez with the Chicago Cubs. And then we've got uh, Austin Meadows with the Tampa Bay Rays. And Whit Merrifield. Whit Merrifield is. Sorry, I just want to adjust this up just a hair for our last card in the pack. So, nothing too earth shattering in there. Did get a nice uh, Gavin Lux there for one of the star, four star rookies out of the pack. We got a uh, Seattle Mariner. Hold on, let me uh, separate the rookies with uh, the Mariner here. That way I'll know where my separation is there. And then we did get the... Oops, the, the spring is sprung. Willie Mays. The Justin Verlander. For the uh, stick, sticker preview collection. Then we did get the uh, Cincinnati Reds and the Washington National Stadium cards. And our sole error card. I'm calling it an error card because opening day did not happen on March 26th, 2020. So there you have it. The Tops 2020 opening day baseball card. Box opening. Set that off to the side here so I know that needs to be separated when we're done later today. All right. So let me, I'm going to set this out of the way real quick as we get into our tops 2020 Series 1 hanger box. Let me just get this kind of lined up a little bit better here. Okay. Uh, let me scooch this over just a little bit so things are kind of centered there. All right, so we're going to go now on the hobbyist. What's up, everyone? Thanks for hopping in here, the hobbyist. Um, we just went through a Topps 2020 opening day hanger box. Now we're going to go over a Topps 2020 Baseball Series 1 hanger box. Okay, and then after this box opening right here, we're going to open up this hobby box for uh, Gypsy Queen. Two on-card autographs per box. We'll see what autographs we'll get out of that box. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and open up this on our second, actually our third part to it, and then our fourth part for this dream will be the Gypsy Queen hobby box opening. And I do have kind of like a red, white, and blue theme for today. Doesn't look like anything earth shattering in there. Let me go ahead and close the bottom of this and put it on display in the background here so everybody knows what we are opening. We'll leave Rice Hoskins in the background there watching us as we open up this pack of Tops 2020 Series 1 um, hanger box. Right. I'll do like my usual fashion here and uh, put basically the hits of the pack down at the bottom. Sometimes they might surprise you with something in the middle. But we'll kind of go that way for now and see how we will work out here. So I'll put the second half to the stack right here. Actually, no, I think it can be seen better right here. That puts it out of the way, so I got an area to put the cards down when I get them here. So let's see who we can find in this 2020 Tops Series 1 hanger box. Michael Conforto with the New York Mets. Anthony Rizzo with the Chicago Cubs. Um, Nick Pavetta with the Philadelphia Phillies. 
Uh, Derek Dietrich with the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, Matt Stram with the San Diego Padres. That's cool there, Jay's Mix. You got the Jeff Bagwell out of the 99, 1991 Upper Deck. That is cool. Nolan Arenado with the Colorado Rockies. Um, yeah, with my... Uh, I got a... Uh, I think it was a Roberto Alomar out of, out of my uh, Fairfield box yesterday. That was pretty cool, getting a Roberto Alomar uh, rookie card. Aaron Savale with the Cleveland Indians rookie card. All right, Justin Verlander. Houston Astros. Um, oh, boom. Got a Seattle Mariner. First, our second Seattle Mariner. We got one out of the opening day box, and now we got, um, I think we got the same Omar Navarez out of the uh, opening day box, from what I remember. Set my Seattle Mariner there for now. Um, Reese McGuire with the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, Matt Thias with the California Angels rookie card. Boom, Daniel Vogel, Vogelback, Vogie, with Seattle Mariners, second Mariner out of this box. Uh, Hyun Jin Ru, Los Angeles Dodgers, league leader. All right, then we've got uh, Mike Clevenger, Cleveland Indians. Uh, Billy Hamilton with the Atlanta Braves. Yep, same photo. For the opening day and for that Mitch Hanniger. Um, Hansel Robles with the California Angels. Um, Brock Holt with the Boston Red Sox. Um, Trevor Bauer with the Cincinnati Reds. Um, CJ Crone with the Minnesota Twins. Aaron Nola with the Philadelphia Phillies. Willie Adamas with the Tampa Bay Rays. Then we've got the Chicago Cubs team card. Bryant right there. Tim and Yomer, South Side infielders. Celebrate a win, Chicago White Sox. Then we got the Street Steven Strasburg World Series highlight card. Um... Orlando Arcia, Milwaukee Brewers. Then we've got uh, Mike Fears with the Oakland Athletics. Um, David Peralta with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Shout out to Kevin's Cart Collecting. Lefty Luke and Dearman are both in the house. How are you guys doing today? Nice to see you both today. Hopefully you all are doing fine. Uh, David Peralta with the Arizona Diamondbacks once again. Michael Panetta with the Minnesota Twins. Javier Baez with the Chicago Cubs. Jay Sanderson with the Milwaukee Brewers. And Christian Stewart with the Detroit Tigers. Not too much happening in that first half of the uh, 2020 Series 1 hanger box. Let's see what we can find in the second half of the box here. All right. We got uh, Jose Urquidy with the Houston Astros rookie card. We've got um, Anthony Rendon. Anthony Rendon with the Washington Nationals. Um, Albert Almora with the Chicago Cubs. Josh Bell with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Um, Jonathan Villar with the Baltimore Orioles. Robinson Cano with the New York Mets. Julio Tehran with the Atlanta Braves. DJ LeMahieu with the New York Yankees. Aaron Judge with the New York Yankees. Is card number seven, in case you guys are wondering, out of the set. I think Mike Trout's number one. In this set. Chance Sisko with the Baltimore Royals. Nick Solak with the Texas Rangers rookie card. All right, Jay Bruce with the Philadelphia Phillies. Shout out to Dearman 2019. I'm doing good, Lefty. I'm doing good. Wesley Tonneson. Hello, everyone. 
And hello to you, Dara Wesley. Thanks for popping into the stream here this morning. We're up to nine people getting close to double digits. If you get a chance, share me out. We are getting closer to opening up this 2020 Gypsy Queen hobby box. As soon as we finish this box off. Robo Garcia with the Chicago Cubs rookie card. Uh, Patrick Corbin with the Washington Nationals. Jesus Aguilar with the Tampa Bay Rays. Jorge Alfaro with the Miami Marlins. All right. Then we got uh, Liam Hendricks with the Oakland Athletics. Um, ben Gamble with the Milwaukee Brewers. Starling Marte with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, Brandon Crawford with the San Francisco Giants. Austin Meadows with the Tampa Bay Rays. New York Yankees team card. St. Louis Cardinals team card. Boom, close call. Goodman hangs on after swiping second base. American League All-Star game highlight. Uh, Scott Kingry with the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, Masahira Tanaka with the New York Yankees. And boom, we got our rainbow fall card, Javier Baez with the Chicago Cubs. Javier Baez. Hmm. Not serialized or anything, but uh, Javier Baez. Oh, there we go. I don't know. Is this one, this one might be a short print? Let me look in a second here. Eloy Jimenez, Chicago White Sox, Gold Cup card. That almost looks like that should be a short print, and it is. It is. There we go. You got the uh, SP variation card. If you can see that 84 on the bottom there, that does make it a short print. That is cool. I got another short print, print from my collection here. Eloy Jimenez. Short print card. Anytime you see an off the wall different type of picture um, on the cards, odds are it's a short print. And sure enough, that one was nice short print card to get. Let me actually put that one up there so you can see it a little bit easier. Get that there. Turn it a little bit more, get the shine off of it. Turn this one a little bit straighter. Maybe you can see a little bit of the the foil action. Oh, there we go. That's the foil action there. And we got a couple of Rice Hoskins cards here. These looks like these are the insert cards. Uh, 11 Tevin for Rice Hoskins. And uh, Snag at the Bag for Rice Hoskins. Ooh, there we go. Uh, decades Best Pitcher Steve Carlton from the 1970s. Boom! 1985 throwback Ichiro card. Ichiro card. <laughs> That is a cool card. I do like that one there. Let me put these guys over here because I forgot. That side I usually reserve for my turkey cards that are coming up. But uh, we'll put the Steve Carlton here for now. Put the Ichiro right up here. There we go. We've got a Sean Doolittle with the Washington Nationals. Sean Doolittle. Then we've got a... a Cavan Biggio with the Toronto Blue Jays. Turkey card. Jacob DeGrom with the New York Mets. Turkey card. And Chris Archer with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Shout out to Eric and John Jabs. I'm trying to collect the turkey set. That's good. How many you got now so far there, German? You know, there's a hundred cards in that set, in this set, right? hundred cards in the turkey set. How many you got there, Dearman? You got 12. Only 88 more cards to go. 
<laughs> Only 88 cards to go. Trust me, it is a very hard set to collect. I do finally have one. I do have one complete set of the turkey cards thus far. And if you go back to my videos, I did highlight uh, going through the 100 card set. So there we have it. Looks like I'm kind of right on track. I wanted to be here about 11 o'clock to get ready to get into the Topps Gypsy Queen 2020 Hobby Box in just a moment here. So I do appreciate that. So that gives us our hits for our 2020 um, 2020 Topps Baseball Card Series 1. So these are our base cards. I'll go through and double check, make sure if I don't have any. Um, let me see if I have any short prints here real quick for the, the serialized cards. Oops. Put that one in stack upside down. Usually I do it so I can look through them real quick here and see if I have any uh, serialized cards. Sometimes you may or may not get one in a box. But it is always nice when you do get a serialized card. Looks like no short print 2020 cards in there. But that's okay. I'll set that off to the side here. And then of course these are the, that's the American League card. Uh, Robo Garcia rookie card. Nick Solak rookie card. Jose Yerquiti rookie card. Then we've got the, uh, the World Series highlight card. The League Leaders card, um, another rookie, Matt Thias, and Aaron Savale. So those were our rookie cards, our All-Star World Series cards. So these were the, the four turkey cards we got there. All right. And then we did get the uh, Ichiro 1985 throwback. We got the 1970s Decades Best Steve Carlton, two Rice Hoskins, the Snag the Bag, and the 11th Heaven, and then two Seattle Mariners, Daniel Vogelback and Omar Narvaez. Set these off to the side here and separate all this into my separation areas. We got the uh, one uh, foil card, Javier Baez with the Chicago Cubs, and... The best card we got today is the Eloy Jimenez Chicago White Sox Tops Gold Car Gold Cup card, and it is also a short print. You can generally tell that by the uh, types of photos they put on there usually, especially if it's a uh, variation for a. Uh, so it's a 284. 284. I'll show you the number on the bottom here, if it focuses. not going to focus on me oh there you go there you go you can see the 84 right there at the end the last two digits on those numbers on the bottom the code number so 84 shows that it is an sp variation the variation for that card number you could get the regular card number 49 that's not the short print and it's going to have a different photo on it just in case you're wondering for those that don't know how that works so, without further ado, I'm going to move this forward, set up our stands in the background here for any of our hits that we'll get. All right, and get ready to open up this hobby box. Okay, kind of get that set up. Make sure we can see... That's that's kind of Kevin's card collecting in the background. He's he's watching over everything. You can kind of see over here off to the left, Deerman, there Deerman's baseball. Pointing to that right up here on the left hand side. And then different cards I've gotten from different people that I've interacted with on my channel. So um and then I do have another baseball underneath of this one that has uh it's an autographed baseball by the the commissioner of baseball 
And then on the bottom of this one is a 1994 World Series ball. Anybody can figure that out if they know much about the 1994 World Series. Okay, so without further ado though, we are going to get into our content at hand for this video. And that is opening up this um, hobby box for Gypsy Queen. Okay, it does say you can find two on-card autographs per box. May contain redemption cards with expiration dates. No purchase necessary. All right, so it is a completely sealed. It's got a the top's authenticity seal right there. Then you can see uh, the proximate odds per box of finding sequentially numbered. A chrome box topper parallels indigo refractor, one out of three. A blue refractor, one out of four. Gold refractor, one out of seven. Red refractor, one out of 63. A super fractor, one out of 1,308. I'm not selling the empty box there. Uh, German, sorry, buddy. An autograph super fractor, one out of 2,132. Because uh, it would cost me more to ship the empty box than it would be for you to buy it from me. <laughs> okay. So, um, neat concept, though. I appreciate you asking. So, without further ado, we are going to get ready to open up this Gypsy Queen box here. Let me see. I'm going to have to give it a little bit more space. I'm going to move these over like this. So, I can put the box off to the left here. Kind of back this up so I will show you the odds on the packs of the, of the cards when I get the box opened up here. So without further ado, we are going to get ready to go in here. Tiger 727 Eloy is really nice pull. All right, so let's uh, break the seal on the box here. There we go. We got the seal broken. So we will open up the box topper last. Three chrome cards inside in the box po box topper pack. Okay, so let me just set that right in the back there. So we'll we will open that last when we get to it. Here we do have. I'm gonna kind of set this box in the background, kind of like we you would in a. Uh, Let me get it at the right angle so you can see where I am pulling the cards from. Let's see if I can squeeze this in here real quick. Okay, let me set that there, that there. All right. I think we can go right about here and I should have enough space on my break table to go through these cards, okay? So I'll just keep going right across the row as I go down through the box. So this will be the first pack that will open up. All right. Again, we'll be looking for um, the, the no-name fronts, the logo swaps, um, and we will be looking for bazookas. Uh, Ethan's Elvis Covers and more is trying to collect the, the, the bazooka set. Um, so this is the odds on the back here. Gives you all the odds for all the different cards. Then right over here you've got the no purchase necessary address where you could uh, get a 3x5 card and mail it in a number 10 envelope, which is a big envelope. and Send it to NPN 2020 Tops Gypsy Queen Baseball. And you have to have that in by June 24th, uh, 2020. And they have to be received there at TOPS by July 1st, 2020. Okay. No metered mail. They're saying you have to put a postage stamp on there. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start ripping through these. And see who we can find in this 2020 Gypsy Queen. Okay. So first card in the box and the pack is 
uh, W.C. Smith with the Dodgers. Okay, then we've got uh, Lugo Dow. Isn't it Lugo Dow? Dow Lugo. Dow Lugo. I'm just going to call out their last name and third base, their position. And just we'll, we'll kind of go through these one by one. I do. I always like going through a, a box like this when we get one in. Just to see what we can find and go through. So we will take time. We will look at the backs to see if we get the logo swaps, things of that nature. No names. We'll set all those cards aside as hits in the box. Mitch Hanniger with the Seattle Mariners. Our first Seattle Mariner in our first pack. Jose Altuve. All right, with the Astros. Um, L, uh, we got Lorenzo Kane, outfielder for the Brewers. Um, Shed Long with the Seattle Mariners, second base and outfield. So we got two Seattle Mariners out of the first box. Um, Matt Thias, I think that's Matt Thias. Yeah, Matt Thias with the California Angels rookie card. And JT Realmuto. All right, with the Philadelphia Phillies. All right. So let's see on the back here, see if we've got any... Nope, no bubblegums in this one. Don't notice anything out of the ordinary on any of those. Um, nothing special on the rookie. And nothing special on the 2C Adult Mariners. So nothing super st stupendous in the first pack. All right, Luke, are you here still? <laughs> Trying to see if Lefty Luke's still in the channel. All right, so moving on to pack number two. Uh, Giolito with the White Sox. Okay. Um, Keller with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Um, La Stella. Second base and third base for the California Angels. Just turn them over one by one. Uh, Anderson, shortstop for the Chicago White Sox. Um, Castro, shortstop for the Detroit Tigers. Um, is that Brian Reynolds? Brian Reynolds for the Pittsburgh Pirates. And boom! Kyle Lewis. We got Kyle Lewis with the Seattle Mariners. So, three packs. We've got, or two packs. We've got three Mariners and Justin Smoke with the Milwaukee Brewers. Okay, you thought there was something on the card there for a second. Piece of plastic off of the pack when I tore it off. So, no bazooka cards yet. What I'll do is I'll put the bazookas up here in the background here. Um, Huber's trick shot. Message deleted by... What's going on there, Dearman? What's going on with Hubert's... Uh, can you give away these cards? I'm um, sorry, yeah. Um, you don't ask for cards to be given away on my channel there, Hubert's, but thanks for inquiring, okay? Um, okay. So um, my moderators do keep an eye on that. And so that is why uh, Dearman did delete your comments, okay? So um, I'm going to leave the other one the way it is, just so you know. Uh, yeah, but just so you know there, Huber, you're new in the channel. And Dearman is one of my moderators. So he is allowed to, to do that. I've already given him permission to do that. So, okay. So I don't mind you being in here, Huber. But you have to follow the rules of the channel, okay? I'm not trying to be mean or anything. It's just um, I don't give away free stuff. I mean, I do have contests in my channel that I do do on sometimes a monthly basis. But I do not give away free stuff. Okay, other channels may do that, but I'm sorry. That's just uh, that's just the way we roll in this channel. Um, I didn't get mon monetized for giving away free stuff all the time. I, I got monetized by people watching my content, watching my videos, and enjoying the, the, the content that I put up in my channel. So I appreciate you being here. And if you do uh, like, comment, and subscribe like normal people would, 
um, I will be sure and check out your channel also. Okay? So when you do get a chance later, just go by, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be cool with that, okay? And then once you've uh, been a faithful member in my channel for a while, you possibly could get a blue wrench. But then if, if the if two blue wrenches start fighting it out with each other, I'll just take the, the wrenches away. Okay, so don't ask to get a wrench. One day you might just show up if you've been a faithful viewer and subscriber to my channel, and you could get a wrench. Uh, I've known Dearman since I started my channel back last year, so he's been a faithful channel subscriber. I'll be right back. Bathroom break. <laughs> no problem there, Dearman. You take care, all right, Huber? So appreciate you being here. Glad to have you part of the uh, part of the group. Uh, yes, I am a Christian. That's why I don't. Uh, uh, I'm very cautious on what I do put up on my content. You'll see all my content and my title, Donald Blomdahl by God's grace. Okay, I uh, put up uh, Bible reading videos on a daily basis. They get scheduled up every morning, so we keep everything clean on this channel. So without further ado, we're going to get into pack number three in this box break. Oh, that, that's, that, that's no problem, Huber. All right. You're new in the channel and you don't you didn't know how I rolled with everything that I do and stuff. So you don't there's no need for apology, but I do appreciate the apology. OK, so we just like to go through and uh, enjoy what we see and do in the channel. And there are times, yes, when I do give things away um dearman you can if you want you can talk to dearman on the side or whatever or go to his channel and you can learn more about me and stuff but um there are a few uh young people if you are a young person i don't know for sure but um that do get team bags on a monthly basis from me from your favorite team so that can be worked out in time too when i see what type of subscriber you are to the channel so we're going to continue moving on here. We got Rice Hoskin with the Philadelphia Phillies. All right. Um, uh, McMahon with the Colorado Rockies. Um, who's that? that? Patrick Corbin with the Washington Nationals. We got Marvell uh, with the Pittsburgh Pirates rookie card. Um. Oh, my word. That's a hit for me. Cal Ripken Jr. Cal Ripken Jr. shortstop for the Baltimore Orioles. That is a hit for me. I'm a big Cal Ripken Jr. and Ken Griffey Jr. subscriber. Or subscriber. That's my two main players that I PC in my collection. Along with any Hall of Famer. If you, if you do... Check out my other content. Um, Blake Snell with the Tampa Bay Rays. Um, Burke, rookie card for the Texas Rangers. And Miner with the Texas Rangers. Pitcher for the uh, Rangers. So no turkey cards out of the first three packs. All right. So we are going to move on to our next row in 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 the stack here i love the orioles is that your team there huber tricks out do you like the orioles is baltimore orioles your team i know uh dearman i believe is from uh delaware so yeah okay the baltimore orioles is your team i know uh dearman likes the philadelphia phillies uh but that's cool. All right. So, uh, Gray, Chicago, uh, or Cincinnati Reds, Cincinnati Reds, uh, Sunny Gray. And then, uh, boom, boom. Is that Garrett Hampson? Garrett Hampson with the Colorado Rockies. Um, Ar isn't that Aridolis Chapman with the New York Yankees? Yes, Aroldis. With the New York Yankees. Uh, Luis Severino with the New York Yankees. Boom! We got our first major hit. Uh, Blue Border. Trevor Bauer. 
with the Cincinnati Reds blue border card. And that is number 59 out of 250. All right, 59 out of 250. So that is a cool hit there, the blue border card. Uh, Pete Alonzo with the New York e New York Mets. All right. And then Craig Biggio. Craig Biggio. Or is that Kevin? Kevin Biggio. Craig Biggio is his dad. Kevin Biggio. Second baseman for the Toronto Blue Jays. All right. And then uh, Ronad Odor. Second baseman for the Texas Rangers. Cool, cool, cool. Um, me back. <laughs> uh, Evermind 250. What Evermind? What do you mean ever? Never, never mind 250. <laughs> yeah, Dearman's a teenager. He'll, he'll, he's a uh, a young man in the channel but is definitely responsible, and that's why I trusted him with a wrench on my channel. He keeps an eye on the chat, along with some of my other ones. That would be crazy if you pull one of one Harper or Hoskins. Oh, yeah. Dearman would flip out, probably. <laughs> Wouldn't you, buddy? All right. So let's keep rolling through the packs here. Pack number five. Pack number five. I think we got a, a fortune teller card or something in here. Looks like a small one coming up. Uh, got to hold my finger on the bottom here so it don't fall out the bottom. Um, Brandon Crawford. Brandon Crawford, shortstop for the San Francisco Giants. Um, Enciarte. Enciarte. It's uh, Ender Enciarte, I think. I uh, I probably butchered his name with the Atlanta Braves. Um, it's uh, bum, 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 Paul DeJong. Paul DeJong with the St. Louis Cardinals. Um, boom, there it is. And it's a Mike Trout. Um, Dom Nunez. All right, with the Colorado Rockies. Rookie card. And then there we go. We got the, the Mike Trout fortune teller card. Mike Trout fortune teller card. I'm gonna if I don't put this in a penny sleeve, it'll fall off my stand because of its size. But if I put it in a penny sleeve, that will keep it upright. Let me get uh these two also in a penny sleeve. My uh serial serial numbered blue Trevor Bauer. And my Cal Ripken Jr. I'd probably do these and the others. This is what I should do is just go through them like this real quick and see the backs. Uh, Orlando Mercado. Or Oscar Mercado. That's why I don't... Unless I know the player, I just guess their first name. Uh, no bazooka backs yet there, Huber Trick Shots. No, no, I didn't find any yet, but I do have somebody uh, that's faithful to my channel that I'm searching for the bazooka backs for. He collects them, and that's Ethan Zelvis covers him more. I'm trying to help him complete his bazooka back. All right, so, and then Zach Grinke, pitcher for the Houston Astros. All right, and then uh, Logan Allen, rookie card for the Cleveland Indians. So there we go again. So we are on pack number six. We did pretty good with, with our first two packs for the Mariners, but no more. And just in case you're wondering, there, Huber Trick Shots, I am a Seattle Mariner fan. I'm a Seattle Mariner fan. I just I live up here in the Pacific Northwest. Bobachette. There we go. We got a Bobachette rookie card. Okay. With the Toronto Blue Jays, one of the top four rookies this year. Oops. Bo Bichette rookie. Um, Hunter Dozier, third base and outfield for the Kansas City. Kansas City Royals and Jose Barrios with the Minnesota Twins. 
All right, Mike Yastrzemski, outfielder for the San Francisco Giants. And I think we might have our first autograph. Oh my word, if, if that's the autograph card and it's a Ronald Acuna Jr., that will be awesome. Nope, it's not. Why was it upside down? They teased us. <laughs> it would have said actually on the back if it was an autograph, but Ronald Acuna Jr. Outfielder for the Atlanta Braves. That is a cool card nonetheless. And then followed by a Tat Fernando Tatis Jr. Shortstop for the San Diego Padres. Kevin's card collecting and more. That's his PC. Boom, followed by, by a Shohei Otani. A Shohei Otani. And then it, followed by an Archie Bradley rookie card. Or no, not rookie card. A Archie Bradley for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Shout out to Kevin's card collecting and more. So cool, cool cards there. Tatis Jr., Ronald Acuna Jr., Awesome cards to get there. Again, no, no logo variations or anything yet in the box. So we'll have to keep going and see if we do find anything in here. Here, let me uh, scooch these up just a little bit and I'll go through them that way probably quicker. Okay. Set those right there. Going into pack number seven. Uh, my pop is about your age, and he has no idea who any of these new players are. Oh, so Hubert Trick Shots. You're, yeah. Um, I was watching a lot of baseball. Oh, Donald. Are you collecting the 2020 meddling cards? If so, I got some to trade. What do you mean, meddling cards? I don't know what you're talking about there, German. Either that or you, you, you typed it wrong there. I don't know what meddling cards are. <laughs> I don't have any clue what you're saying there, German. But uh, we will continue rolling through these cards here. Um, R. Garcia third baseman for the Chicago Cubs Robel Garcia Carter Keeboom with the Washington Nationals um, outfielder Hayes for the Baltimore Orioles oh there we go Aristides Aquino one of the other top rookies for 2020 Aristides Aquino rookie card Aaron Nola pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies uh, Tyler Glass now, Tampa Bay Rays pitcher. Um, San Diego Padres Yates and D Liba. That 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 that. I oh, mean, I try and guess some of these first names when they don't put it on the front of the card. With the Arizona Diamondbacks rookie card. All right. Nope, no bazooka backs uh, in that pack. Okay. Just double check these. I can't remember for sure. I don't think there was any bazooka backs in this stack either. Nope. Just wanted to make sure so I can go through pack number eight in the box. Oh, the medallion. Oh, you mean black bordered numbered, I think. I think you don't have. You mean, do you mean the rookie medallion cards there, German? Who are you looking for? The, the Strasbourg? Strasbourg. I have two Steven Strasburgs, but I don't have the black border one, but I'm not collecting those. I just want to get a base set of all the rookie medallion cards. So you should keep that one, buddy. That's a good card to have. If it's the black border and it's a serial numbered one. 
you got a good hit there, buddy. All right. So continuing on here. Tampa Bay Rays. Arizarina. Arizarina? Randy Arizarina with the Tampa Bay Rays rookie card. Garrett Cole with the New York Yankees. Um, Sterling Castro with the Washington Nationals. Nick Senzel with the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, what is that? Aaron Savale, rookie card for the Cleveland Indians. Um, Astrobal Cabrera, second base and third baseman for the Washington Nationals. Uh, Calhoun, outfielder for the Rangers. And Yadier Molina, catcher for the St. Louis Cardinals. Okay. No, oh, no bazooka bats yet. Maybe we're going to strike out with bazooka bat. Uh, I did not get any autos yet either. I, th these are the only hits I've got so far. The Cal Ripken Jr., the Jake Bauer, and the Mike Trout. That is the only hits out of this box so far. Charlie Blackman. With the Colorado Rockies. Um, Braun, outfielder for the Brewers. Cattell Marte with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Uh, Yuri Gurriel with the Houston Astros. Um, third base, uh, third baseman Moran with the Pittsburgh, or Moran, <laughs> with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Shout out to Eric and John Japs. Um... Pitcher for the Detroit Tigers, Alexander. And uh, catcher for the New York Mets, Ramos. And uh, San Diego Padres pitcher, Baez. Baez? Mike, Mike, Mikael Baez. Rookie card. And no bazooka backs in that box, in that pack. All right, getting on to pack number 10. Oh, we're almost halfway through the box here, guys, and no autos yet. <laughs> I predict an auto in the next pack. Oh, I think we got another fortune teller card here. All right, it's hiding in there. Uh, Chris Bryant, third base for the Chicago Cubs. Joey Votto, first base for the Cincinnati Reds. Um, is that Eduardo Escobar, third baseman for the Arizona Diamondbacks? Um, yep, there's our fortune teller coming up. Um, El, it's San Francisco Giants pitcher, rookie card, Webb. Uh, Logan Webb, all right, and it's not a, uh, not a bazooka card. Uh, is that Brandon McKay rookie card uh, for dun, 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 for the Tampa Bay Rays? Tampa Bay Rays. Let me get that in a penny sleeve. Put him right next to the the trout card here. So we got two fortune teller cards so far. All right. Moving through the last three cards here. Um, outfielder for the Colorado Rockies. Hilliard, rookie card. Not a, not a bazooka. Dustin May, rookie card for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Again, not a bazooka back. And uh, New York Yankees pitcher, Atavino. Adam Atavino. Boom, still no more rookie. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Let me scooch these over just a little bit here. I, I feel when we get our, our big card coming up here, I'm going to need more space so we can see it on the camera here. There, move those over a little bit. 
So again, add a few more rookies out of that one, but no, no bazooka backs. That is uh, Hubert trick shots. Uh, am I married? Yes, I am. I have been happily married there, buddy. So, um, the answer to your question would be, yes, I am married. I have been happily married for a very long time. We have two kids, a son and a daughter. Both have graduated from school. Both have graduated from higher education. Our daughter is a medical assistant. Our son is a music teacher. Our daughter lives close by near us. And my son lives in Florida. He's a music teacher. Uh, Cody Bellinger with the Dodgers. Hin Jun Ru, pitcher for the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, I think it's Dylan Cease, rookie card for the Chicago White Sox. Dylan Cease, yep, got that one right. Uh, Boston Red Sox catcher, Vasquez. Uh, Boston Red Sox second baseman, I think it's Brandon Holt. I'm probably wrong, but we'll see in a second here. Uh, St. Louis Cardinals outfielder, Dean. And uh, Milwaukee Brewers uh, pitcher, is that Brian Woodruff? Brandon Woodruff. <laughs> I like to guess the ones I don't know for sure. See if I can get it right. Um, no more, but no bazookas in this pack either. We are just striking out with getting any bazookas. Unless they're being saved for the end down the bottom of the box here. Um, is your son a music teacher at Pensacola Christian College? He is a uh, he he graduated from the college. He got his bachelor's and his master's from Pensacola Christian College, but he's a music music teacher at PCA Pensacola Christian Academy, which is right next door to the college. There, we've been there on numerous numerous occasions. Why are you? Going to college in Pen Pensacola Christian College. There, Hubert. The unfortunate thing is my son doesn't like baseball at all, but he is a full-fledged music teacher, that's for sure, and that's where his heart is in his, in his ministry and his calling. So, but thank you for asking. Yeah, I homeschooled through PCA. Um, our, both of our kids home were homeschooled through Pensacola Christian Academy also. So, yeah, we used uh, a Becca homeschool material. Is that what you use there, Huber, trick shots? That is pretty cool. So, so we have things in common here. All right. So uh, we got uh, Oakland Athletics, first baseman Olsen. Um, I think this is a uh, Minnesota twin shortstop. I think it's Jorge Polanco. All right. Justin Verlander. Pitcher for the Houston Astros. Um, I think it might be Brandon Anderson. Third base. Outfield for the Miami Marlins. Ooh. We got uh, J.D. Martinez. Boston Red Sox designated hitter. Black and white. Ooh, and that is definitely a short print. That is 32 out of 50. 32 out of 50 for that one. Don't have that logo swap, but that is cool. That is a black and white with the, the blue labels, GQ, and the name. So that is, I'm going to put that right back there with Jake Bauer. That way we'll highlight these hits at the end. Um, Arizona Diamondbacks pitcher, Ray. Um, I think that's Trey, Trey Mancini. Outfield and first baseman for the Baltimore Orioles and Chicago Cubs. Um, yes, okay. So Chicago Cubs, Hendricks, KP. That is Kyle Hendricks. Okay, and no winners yet. Let's see. No bazooka backs yet. Oh, my word. My first two products of Gyp Gypsy Queen, I did get... Let's see, I think I did Gypsy Queen uh, blaster boxes, and I pulled two bazookas out of them, but nothing out of this box yet. 
What a small world. There we go there, Huber. Hopefully we'll see more, more of you around the channel here. I do live streams Tuesday through Saturdays. Uh, you can see my schedule on my About Me tab and the type of content I create for my channel for my sports card side. And then you'll be able to go to, to, to my channel page and you'll see the different video content I have up there. I've been on YouTube for a long, long time. But uh, when I retired from, I'm retired from the Navy and then retired from the United States Postal Service. I retired in 2018. And uh, about March, April time frame, I decided to go full-fledged on my YouTube channel. Um, have you met Josh Burks? Josh Burks. That name rings a bell, that's for sure. Josh Burks. The name rings a bell, that's for sure. Why, why do you want to know if I ever met Josh Burks? Just kind of curious. Okay, so um, I think this is Michael Chavez, first baseman, second baseman for the Boston Red Sox. Uh, a Cincinnati Reds pitcher, Iglesias. Um, oh, Kansas City Royals, second baseman and outfielder, Whit Merrifield. Um, Arizona, uh, California Angels pitcher, Heaney. He is the administrator Oh, okay, okay. The administrator at PCA. I'm pretty sure I have. Uh, we, when our son was going, he he basically was in college there for for six years, at uh, Pensacola Christian College at PCC. So we made many trips out there during. The, we had we went for his two piano recitals. Um, he majored in piano and violin. He did Jaffe strings through. Um, uh, Abeka, the Abeka material, and actually did have a chan chance to work there. Um, let, now you're, what years was he there? My son was there at Pensacola Christian College. You're making me think now. Now I gotta go back and think. Let's see. I want to, it was the early 2000s, that's for sure. Um, or right around early mid mid two thousands. Let's see. Close near, uh, probably about two thousand eight two thousand nine through about. I want to say two thousand fourteen two thousand fifteen, right around there. Just in case you're wondering, California Angels uh, pitcher he uh, Heaney, um, Evan Longoria third baseman for the San Francisco Giants. Um, San Diego Padres pitcher, I think it's uh, Alex Munoz, Andres Munoz. Um, CL Mariners, Aaron Nola, first baseman and catcher, rookie card. Boom, got our fourth Seattle Mariners. And then California Angels shortstop, um, Andralton Simmons. Right, and... No more bazookas. No bazookas. Not 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 just no more. No bazookas. <laughs> All right. So it doesn't look like anything too exciting out of this one either. Cincinnati Reds, Trevor Bauer. Um, Detroit Tigers, uh, Reyes, outfielder. Keston Hura, second baseman for the Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, Tampa Bay Rays, I think it's Brendan McKay, pit, uh, pitcher and designated hitter. So I guess if he's a designated hitter, when he's not pitching, he can be a designated hitter. That's pretty cool. You don't see many pitchers like that. Brendan McKay, uh, second baseman for the Baltimore Orioles, Alberto. Um, San Diego Padres second base and third baseman, um, France, and then Nick Solak, uh, Texas Rangers, uh, second base and outfielder, rookie guard, 
And then Javier Baez, shortstop for the Chicago Cubs. Boom. Uh, Matty G, he was supposed to like Otani. <laughs> he was supposed to like Otani. Oh, fourth. Oh, he is the fourth pick in this in this 2017 draft. Gotcha. So San Francisco outfielder uh, Davis rookie card. Jalen Davis. All right. Albert Pujols designated hitter and first baseman for the California Angels. There we go. Justin Dunn. Justin Dunn. All right. Uh, rookie card for the Seattle Mariners. All right. And then uh, Cincinnati Reds third baseman Suarez. Um, New York Mets pitcher. I think it's Matt Stroman. Uh, New York Mets pitcher Jacob deGrom. Um, Washington Nationals outfielder. I believe it's Victor Robles. And... Um, Chicago White Sox outfielder Mazzara Nomar Mazzara okay uh, my dad went to PCC and graduated in 2005 they might have met oh wow so your dad went to PCC and graduated in 2005. So what's your dad do there, Huber? Just kind of curious. They might have met. I'd have to check with my son. I mean, that sounds about the time that my son might have... Let's see. My son... In 2005, my son... Probably not... He probably graduated just before my son got there. Uh, well, now we live in Maryland. Oh, okay. Maryland. I know my son's gone up to that area um, to visit some of his friends from school. Hmm. Mason Sports Talk. Hello, everyone. Thanks for popping in here, Mason. We are going through this Gypsy Queen box. We haven't had anything breaking yet. And uh, we haven't even had any autographs yet. We're supposed to find two. Two on-card autographs. But we have not gotten any autographs yet. They're probably saving the best for last. Oh, your dad is a Baptist pastor. Well, that is cool. So he pastors a church there in Maryland, I'm assuming. Um, is it a break for your PC? Uh, pretty much so, yeah. Thanks, Mason, Sports Talk. Um, hi, Dearman. Robert Hone is still here. How you doing there, Mason? Um, do appreciate you being here. Um, Eloy Jimenez with the Detroit Tigers. Pitcher. A.J. Puck. California Angels pitcher. Rookie card. Not a bazooka. No bazooka backs yet. Um, Kansas City Royals catcher, Valoria. All right. Uh, Atlanta Braves shortstop, Swanson. Um, St. Louis Cardinals pitcher, Fernandez, rookie card. That's Junior Fernandez, rookie card. Um, Oakland Athletics. Third baseman, Chapman, Matt Chapman. Max Scherzer, Washington Nationals pitcher. And Chicago F Cubs first baseman, and I believe that's Anthony Rizzo. Yep, Anthony Rizzo. And, yeah, no, no, no names, no logo swaps, no bazookas. This is a dull box so far.
And I had to wait when I ordered it last month. It was on back order, so I had to wait till they got more in. And then this is what I get. <laughs> Sometimes the early bird gets the worm when they open these products. Um, uh, Cincinnati Reds, uh, Castillo, Aaron Nola, Philadelphia Phillies pitcher. There we go for Kevin's card collecting. I haven't seen Kevin in here today. He must have stayed up too late last night. <laughs> Usually Kevin pops into my stream. Uh, St. Louis Cardinals, Paul Goldschmidt, first baseman. Um, Minnesota Twins outfielder, Buxton. They, oh, speak of the devil, we get our first one. An Arizona Diamondback. No name front. No name front. All right. Cole Calhoun with the Arizona Diamondbacks. With 33 home runs in 2019. Let me get that into a penny sleeve, at least, for now. So it's kind of a hit, I guess. No name. Arizona Diamondback for now. We haven't had to use one of these stands for an autograph yet. Uh, probably put an autograph over here and move Cal Ripken Jr. back there if uh, we get our autograph eventually. Um, we got our Chicago White Sox outfielder, Eloy Jimenez. Um, here we go. Uh, Toronto Blue Jays outfielder, Lords Guriel Jr. And uh, Toronto Blue Jays pitcher, K, rookie card. That is Anthony K, his rookie card. And still no bazooka backs, still no autographs. My word, we're covering all the cards in the background there with not much in the box. Maybe I'll get enough so I can complete my set. Hello, Donald and everyone, three card collectors. How are you doing, buddy? Hey, Dearman. Dearman still is here. All right, there we go. Hi, Mason. All right. Looks like we got another fortune teller card. Um, New York Yankees catcher, Sanchez. Uh, Milwaukee Brewers pitcher, Josh Hader. Um, New York Yankees shortstop, Gleyber Torres. Uh, Chicago... Cups pitcher Lester and we did get another fortune teller uh, Luis Robert Luis Robert so we've got three fortune teller cards out of the box so far guess that's one thing we could say we got <laughs> three fortune teller cards there, I'll kind of put them that way so you can see. We are getting down to the bottom of the box here. I think we got six packs left. Six packs left and no autos yet. No autos. No bazookas. No bazookas. Oh, my word. Let me just double check here. I don't think we missed any bazookas in here. No, we're just not getting any bazookas. Um, so... Pack number 18. Can you check out my channel? Uh, I will go to your channel later when we're done the done the stream here, all right, there. Um, Huber Trick Shops Trick Shots. Do appreciate the conversation we've been having in the chat. That's good. But do me a favor just as a reminder because the older I get, the more I forget things. <laughs> just go to my channel. watch. You can watch one of my short videos. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Leave a genuine comment. And then when I go and review my comments, what I usually do then is uh, then I will go ahead and visit a channel that I have, I'm not familiar with. So I can check out your channel and check out some of your videos and your content. And then uh, most likely I will probably hop on board your bus. That's what we say in here. Okay. So um, I will hop on board your bus for sure. Uh, look at his smile. 
<laughs> yeah, Bryce Harper, outfielder for the Philadelphia Phillies. Oh, did I not go through? Yeah, I went through these. I just didn't put them on the stack up here. Okay. So Bryce Harper, outfielder for the Phillies. Uh, Washington Nationals, first baseman. Uh, Thames. Uh, Cleveland Indians, shortstop Francisco Lindor. Um, uh, Miami Marlins pitcher Alcantara. Oh, we finally got a the magician Noah Syndergaard. We got our first uh, tarot of the diamond cards. Tarot of the diamond cards. Let me put that up here right in front of our those hits for now. We got our first tarot of the diamond card. Noah Syndergaard. All right. Um, California Angels third baseman. I think that's Anthony Rendon. Uh, Cleveland Indians pitcher. Clays, rookie card. Okay. No bazooka back. And second baseman, third baseman for the Tampa Bay Rays. Bruce Hill, rookie card. Boom. Nothing there either. No bazooka backs. Five packs to go and no autographs. Do I have to send a blastogram and tell, tell Tops to say, hey, how come I didn't get my two autographs? Oh, how long have I been collecting? Uh, most my life, but I didn't start back up till about halfway through my Navy career. Oh, looks like we got another tarot card. Um, Baltimore Orioles, um, the 24th. Thank you, Mason. <laughs> there we go. So, yeah, I have been collecting for quite a time. Again, my big collection is Ken Griffey Jr. and Cal Ripken Jr. In case you're wondering, that's when I pulled the Cal Ripken Jr. That was a hit for me because I don't have that card yet. Um, so Baltimore Orioles pitcher Harvey, rookie card. No bazooka back. Uh, I believe this is Max Muncy. Uh, first base and second baseman for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Max Muncy, yep, I was right on that one. Carlos Santana, Cleveland Indians, uh, first baseman. All right. Um, Oakland Athletics, second baseman, Noose, rookie card. Boom. Uh, Sheldon Noose. All right. Justin Verlander, aces, ace of wands. The ace of wands. Oops. The ace of wands, tarot card. So I did get some kind of hits so far. <laughs> um, Alex Colome, pitcher for the Chicago White, or, yeah, the Chicago White Sox. Willie Adamas with the Tampa Bay Rays, and uh, Oakland Athletics outfielder Brown, rookie card, Seth Brown. Okay. No bazooka backs here either. Wow, four packs to go and no autographs yet. Yeah, I know. I don't know. I'm getting nervous here with four packs to go. Um, I don't know what we're going to do here unless we get an autograph out of the, the three chrome cards or something. <laughs> this is getting quite disappointing here. Well, at least at least Dearman Bryce Harper is on every the, the, the top, the front of every pack. Isn't that a cool thing? Bryce Harper on the on the cover of every pack. <laughs> it's probably going to be the last two. Yeah, save the best for last, right? That's the way it's kind of looking here. I don't know. I'm getting kind of nervous here. I think we got another tarot card. Is that their compensation? Thinking, oh, we'll give them a bunch of tarot cards and no autographs. Freddie Freeman, first baseman for the Atlanta Braves. Um, Miami Marlins pitcher, Duggar, rookie card. Robert Duggar. Clayton Kershaw with the Los Angeles Dodgers pitcher. Um, Baltimore Orioles uh, catcher, Cisco. 
There we go. Kings, King of the Wands, Aaron Nola. Aaron Nola, Kings of the Wand. So boom, we get we get three uh, fortune teller cards followed by three uh, tarot cards. <laughs> and then uh, Miami Marlins pitcher Yamamoto, rookie card. Jordan Yamamoto. Um, San Diego Padres outfielder Tommy Pham. And Arizona Diamondback back-to-back uh, -back for Kevin Scar collecting. Um, oh, you mean... You mean this stack here, or... Okay, Mason Sports Cards. Uh, Dearman says, Donald, can you move the cards over a little? I can only see half the cards. What do you mean, half the cards? I'm looking on my screen here. I can see most of the cards here. These are just my Seattle Mariners I, I set down here. These are just all the cards we've searched through, and these are the, these are the basic kits right here. So, the packs you open. Oh, you mean these ones here? Well, yeah, they're they're just here's the last three in the box right here. Okay. So here I'll kind of I'll kind of show them right here like this. How's that sound? Those are the last three packs we've got, and then we've got this this pack here to open last. That's the the three chrome cards, the box topper. Okay. So is that what you're talking about there, Dearman? Is that the ones that are hiding on you? Um, Arizona Diamondbacks uh, first baseman, Walker. Christian Walker. And again, no more bazooka backs. Can I hold the cards more to the left? Like, Oh, you mean like this? Instead of like this? I can do that if it makes that big a difference for you there, Dearman. Everybody else is fine with it like this. <laughs> but if you want me to put it in the center, I suppose I could try to do that. A channel, Huber's, he's... Uh, Mason, but a channel. Huber's, Huber's, he's a mod in Ethan's auctions. dun 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 dun, dun. You could only see half the cards. What are you blocking something over here? Was I going too far this way? Here, I'll I'll try and I'll try and be self conscious to that a little bit more for you there, Dearman. <laughs> All right. But yeah, after this we got three more packs and we still haven't found the autographs yet. Here, let me let me do this. How's this sound? I'm gonna move some of these cards oops out of the way a little bit. Just so we can, I'll put some of them in the box here to kind of get them out of the way. There, that, that way, for now, there you can see Martinez there. J.D. Martinez, the designated hitter for the Boston Red Sox. Okay, this one here was a short print. These are the only two I've got hidden here. The blue, Trevor Bauer, the 59 out of 250. And then the J.D. Martinez is the 32 out of 50. But I'll highlight these more at the end of the box. Just so you do know, okay? All right. You're fine. Oh, what is... uh? Well, Daniel Blomdahl. His name's Daniel Blomdahl. So, uh, yeah, that's that's my son's... My son's first name, Daniel. I'm Donald. I'm Donald Blomdahl Jr. My dad was Donald Blomdahl Sr. Um, Freddie Freeman, first baseman for the Atlanta Braves. Um, Arizona Diamondbacks, uh, first baseman, uh, Walker. Um, San Diego Padres outfielder, Tommy Pham. Um, Baltimore Orioles um, catcher, Cisco. And Clayton Kershaw with the Los Angeles Dodgers. 
Okay. Again, no bazooka backs and no autographs. No bazooka backs and no autographs. Hmm. So we've got three packs left to pull two autographs. Oh, is this Cal Ripken a short print? Yeah, a lot of times they do the Hall of Famers as short prints. 75, and what's the base cards? Is that 42 or 47 is the base cards? So I, I was kind of wondering if Cal Ripken Jr. was a short print or not. That is cool. Uh, any older players in this set are short prints. Okay, that makes sense. That does make sense. But has anybody had any? Has anybody else opened up any of these boxes and not found their autographs? Just kind of curious. It says two on-card autographs per box, and we we're down to our last three packs, and I haven't found any autographs yet. So I guess, like Dearman said, it might be in the last two packs. <laughs> We'll have to see what happens here. Does it look everything looks normal here? DJ LeMayhew, second baseman for the New York Yankees. Uh, I believe it's Scott Kingery, uh, third base and outfielder for the Philadelphia Phillies. Um, Minnesota Twins, uh, Gitterall, rookie card, Gitterall. Bru Bruce Starr, get her all. Okay. Um, Kansas City Royals designated hitter and outfielder, Solar. I believe it's uh, Pittsburgh Pirates, first baseman, Josh Bell. Um, Atlanta Braves outfielder, Austin Riley. I believe it's Austin Riley. Yep. Uh, J.C. Our, our Jay Rogers, Detroit Tigers, catcher, rookie card. And San Diego Padres outfielder, Grisham, rookie card. Trent Grisham. Wow, no autographs yet. Got any collecting tips? Patience. <laughs> Patience for sure. This has got me on the edge now with no uh, no bazooka backs. None of my two autograph autographs have shown up yet. We only got the one no name, no alternate uh, logo swaps. Um, yeah, definitely a lot of patience there, Huber. A lot of patience. Here we go. Next to last pack, we're going to get two autographs in one pack. If there isn't two autos, email. Oh, I'm going to. That's for sure. I've been a long time uh, Topps fan of Topps Baseball. Oh, Josh Bell was a logo swap. Josh Bell. Did I miss one? I probably did. Oh, yeah, there it is. I did get, I finally got a logo swap. <laughs> so that, that's my only logo swap with the Gypsy Queen on, uh, on the front. I finally got a, a logo swap out of all my Gypsy Queen product I opened up. So the Josh Belt was a logo swap. Thanks there, Mason. <laughs> Second card, last pack. Josh Bell, 50 home run potential. Okay, it looks like another, uh, another fortune teller, but no auto. <laughs> uh, shortstop, Jay Iglesias with the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, Shinsu Chu, 
designated hitter and outfielder for the Texas Rangers. Uh, M. Comforto, outfielder for the New York Mets. Chris Archer, Pittsburgh Pirates pitcher. And Dylan Cease, fortune teller card. Diller, Dylan Cease. Dylan Cease. So we got our fourth fortune teller out of the box. So we got four fortune tellers and uh, three tarot cards. Still no uh, autographs. Jace, uh, M Miami Marlins catcher, Alfaro. Um, outfielder for the Philadelphia Phillies, Williams. And R. Guzman, first baseman for the Texas Rangers. My word, and no bazooka backs. Well, let's see. We've got our last pack mojo. <laughs> last pack mojo. Yeah, I'm gonna tell give tell uh, YouTube or or tops. Watch my video. You can watch through it. I opened up the whole box on camera. <laughs> Chrome Auto. I I guess so. I guess you can get some Chrome Autos, right? We'll find out. We got this pack and then the three chrome cards. Maybe the audio, maybe two, the two autos will be in the chrome packs. It's in the last two packs. Yeah, I know. I remember you said that there, German. But let's see what we get here. Last pack. Might have a different. No, they look about the same here. Mookie Betts with the Boston Red Sox. Kyle Seeger. Or Corey Seeger, I mean. With the Los Angeles Dodgers. Um, Baltimore Orioles outfield fielder Mullins. Uh, maybe maybe this is our auto one of our autos coming up here. Maybe we'll get one in the in the chrome, huh? Uh, Nicky Lopez, second baseman for the Kansas City Royals. Okay, we've got one. Congratulations, you have received. A Gypsy Queen autograph card issued by 2020 Tops Gypsy Queen Baseball. Colby Allard, Texas Rangers pitcher. Boom. Pretty cool blue on card auto there. Top certified autograph issue. Colby Allard with the Texas Rangers. All right. I kind of figured since it was a backwards card there. That had to be something. So, Gypsy Queen Auto, K.A. for Colby Allard. Boom. Well, hopefully then in the Topps Chrome, we get a Topps Chrome autograph. That'd be cool. Uh, first baseman for the Detroit Tigers, Dixon. All right. Brandon Dixon. Um, New York Mets. Uh, third base and outfielder, J.D. Davis. And San Diego Padres pitcher, Morejon. Rookie card, Adrian Morejon. All right. And no, no bazooka backs. That is very strange that we couldn't get just one bazooka back. So here we go. Last chance, former Brave Prospects. Prospect, they traded him away, Colby Allard, to the Texas Rangers. Well, here we go. You kind of see through the packs here. On the front, I don't know about the back. You can't really see the back. Not intended for individual sale. I like how stores will do that, though. Or people will do it. Not intended for injury. So Tops does not in any manner make any representation as to whether its cards will attain any value. Tops has authorized only the packaging and distribution of the number of sequentially numbered and or hand numbered cards stated on the card. But cannot guarantee that 
counterfeit or other unauthorized cards will not exist. <laughs> so let's see. Last chance to get that third autograph here. Huh? Well, let's see. We do have at least a numbered. Cool. Uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. That would be cool if it was autographed also. So we will save the best for last, maybe, here. So we got uh, uh, Trey Turner with the Washington Nationals as our first. Maybe that, maybe that blue one is autographed. That would be cool. It is definitely a short print card. So we'll put that one right there. All right, Trey Turner, Washington Nationals shortstop, our first chrome card. And then uh, we've got a third baseman for the New York Yankees, uh, Ursula. Okay, so we already know who the last card is. It is a blue uh, parallel. What did it say that these last cards were supposed to be? Just three chrome cards inside. Box topper. So we already know who it is. Can it be an autograph card for our second autograph? That would be a cool, 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 cool autograph to get on this short print. And why not, right? Ooh, maybe because of the way it is. I think it might be an autograph. Maybe, maybe not. It's not an autograph. So we only got one autograph out of this box. Oops. One autograph out of the box. But we get, did get the Ronald Acuna Jr. Outfielder for the Atlanta Braves. Short print. 36 out of 150. <laughs> Kendall Brown, Acuna, is it for sale? Um, yeah, I, I am going to email uh, Tops when we do get done here. I have a Tops account, so I am definitely going to email them and say them. I only got one autograph, and it was out of the last pack in the box. So it could be their collating where they had their autographs and stuff got off and then it was the wrong collation. And it was, was this the last pack or the next to last pack? Do you guys remember? Sometimes I need a NASCAR 9012 is in the house. How you doing there NASCAR? Thanks for popping into the stream here. I'll highlight through some of the hits here. And I'll double check and go through and make sure I didn't miss another autograph. But I don't believe I did. Was anybody in here through the whole stream to make sure? It was a nice blue chrome card though. That's for sure. So these are my f uh, five Seattle Mariners I got here. Uh, Justin Dunn, rookie card. Aaron Nola, or Austin Nola, I mean, uh, first base and catcher for the Mariners. Kyle Lewis, rookie card. So I did get three rookie cards for this year. And then uh, Mitch Hanniger and Shed Long were my five C Seattle Mariners I pulled out of here. And then, of course, we got the uh, uh, Trey Turner for the Washington Nationals. Get him in a penny sleeve there. And then back here, we got the uh, the Gio Ursula, New York Yankees. Um, third baseman for, for the Yankees, along with J.D. Martinez, which was the short print. And Trevor Bauer, which was also a serialized one. 
Uh, the Trevor Bauer was uh, dun, 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 59 out of 250. The J.D. Martinez was 32 out of 50. And then, of course, the Gio Urshela Chrome card. Okay. And then, of course, we did get the awesome hit here. Um, Ronald Acuna Jr., outfielder. Get that one also. Penny sleeve for now, at least. The Ronald Acuna was a uh, 36 out of 150. Along with, let me put that on the bottom here for now. Then we did get the... Uh, the the tarot cards, King of the Wands, Nolan, uh, Justin Verlander, Ace of the Wands, um, Noah Syndergaard, The Magician. And then we got our four uh, fortune teller cards, uh, Robert, rookie card, Brandon McKay, rookie card, uh, Mike Trout, and Dylan Cease. For our uh, rookie cards there, let me leave the, the one of the final pulls, the chrome card on the top there. And we did get our one autograph, one autograph, Colby Allard for the Texas Rangers. And then Justin Bell, first baseman with the logo swap. And then the Arizona Diamondbacks, no name, Cole Calhoun with the blank nameplate on the front there. Those were our hits out of the box. Let me just go through these real quick. Make sure I did not miss an autograph. I don't remember missing one. Just to double check and make sure we did not miss an autograph. I mean, I take my time going through all the cards, so I do not remember missing another autograph card that's for sure unless it was just a small little squiggly on the front of the card that i missed okay so it definitely was not the rookie cards that i usually separate out that's for sure just double check make sure i didn't miss any gypsy queen backs or uh bazooka backs Right. And look through one more time real quick. Make sure I didn't miss any uh, logo swaps. These are all GQs as far as I remember. Hmm. A little bit. My oh. own home. Okay, let me set these in the box here real quick. Let me go through this stack first. Make sure I did not miss any uh, any other autographs. I don't believe I remember. I usually pay attention to the cards pretty good. Just go through these real quick. Make sure I did not miss an autograph earlier in the in the in the stream. I would think others in the stream with me would have caught that. That's for sure. Missed that rookie card there. Put that up there. I would have known that I caught that rookie card on my separation later, but boom. you guys were uh why'd you de delete huber trick trick shots again there uh dearman i got you something but you have to guess oh here goes <laughs> here goes nascar with his 9012 donald i got you something but you have to guess 
I don't know, the last time you did this, I never did get it in the mail, so I don't know what you're talking about this time. See you, Donald. Sweet Acuna. Oh, thanks, sir. Appreciate that, uh, Kendall. Um, he said it two times. What did he say two times? Huber, can you give my brother Garrett a shout out? No problem. Uh, how you doing there, Garrett? Is your brother in the stream or is he with you at the house? Can you give my brother Garrett a shout out? No problem. I'll give your brother Garrett a shout out. Shout out. I don't mind doing that. You still here with us, Huber Trick Shots? I'm sorry. Uh, can you give my brother Garrett a shout out? There's no reason to block that comment there, Dearman. Okay. Uh, I am with him. Oh, no problem. Nice to have you there too, Garrett. Appreciate you being in the stream with us with your brother. Um, yeah. I mean, Dearman, I've been talking to him the whole stream and everything's been fine and then you have to do something like that? Sorry, my man. <laughs> oh, Dearman, sometimes you cease to amaze me and sometimes, sometimes when I think you're being responsible and then you do something like that. Okay. Um, let me just double check, make sure I didn't miss any logo swaps here. And then go to the backs here and finish off. Make sure I didn't miss any bazookas. I don't believe, I think I got most of the cards. There, I'll check the logos on the front. Make sure I didn't miss any logo swaps. Sometimes. That one's a little bit dull, but it's not not a logo swap, that's for sure. Maybe that's when they went to switch it to the other. Um, that is so weird that I didn't get that second auto. But we do have a few more to go through still. Let's see if we... I already looked through all these on the fronts. Let me check for the bazookas. At least the bazookas are easy to notice. You'll you'll definitely notice when you have a bazooka back. That is for sure. All right. So, oh no problem there, Huber's trick shots. Thanks for being in the stream with us today. Appreciate you being here, and hopefully, uh, yeah, I'll I'll visit your channel, pay you a visit and check out your content okay there buddy thanks for being in here today really appreciate it um yeah nascar you can give me a hint because i'm not going to just try and blindly guess what you're trying to find i mean maybe you found a seattle mariner for me or something like that cal ripkin jr uh ken griffey jr but um yeah the last time i mean i don't know why you play the games like this you know Try and try and guess, try and guess what it, it's so such a wide range of trying to guess what you're trying to talk about. I mean, it's just uh, it's interesting. Don't get me wrong, don't take it wrong, but uh, it's just kind of interesting. Try and guess what I want, what I found for you. Okay, um, let me go through the the tops here. Make sure I didn't miss any autographs. I mean, maybe I might have missed it, but I don't believe I did. So um, let me go through and check for the logo swap. And then do one more quick check for uh, um, the bazookas on the back. The bazookas on the back are kind of easy to look for because they'll pop right out at you. Nope, nothing in that stack. Let me, uh... Let 
usually they'll they'll like they'll show on the one and stuff they'll show the back of it will definitely be different too if you did miss it an autograph okay let me just go through the backs real quick here oh wait did i go through all the, the logo swaps on the front here to check them Okay, one more chance on the back here for the bazookas. Sorry, as soon as I get through this process, I'll try and catch back up on the chat here real quick. Nope. No bazookas. So only that one right there. Oh, I got it right. It was Ken Griffey Jr. Well, that's the only... I mean, those are the kind of guesses. He played for the Seattle Mariners. Um, you got it right. It was a Ken Griffey Jr. Well, that's cool. That is cool there, NASCAR. Thanks for finding me, I guess, a Ken Griffey Jr. Don't know if I'll ever see it come in the mail, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what happens so yeah so no nothing else in there that's for sure so we'll set these aside here i'll go those will go into my gypsy queen sort when i get to that and i will shoot off a uh email to uh to tops baseball and say hey all we got was one autograph a colby allard in our 2020 looking for that second one we double checked it we triple checked it and did not receive it all right and of course my my chat froze up early like it always does don't know why that does that my, on my phone i can see the chat here lucky lucky good afternoon donald heavy hi hey everyone how you doing there lucky you, you always manage to pop in right at the end of the stream. <laughs> it's kind of interesting sometimes. But I do appreciate everybody that popped in here today. Looks like we're up to 10 people in the chat. Um, let me just say a, a quick shout out for those that are still here, I guess. Uh, for Lucky Lucky, NASCAR9012, and Robert Hone. I appreciate you guys being here, spending some time with me this morning. I've been lurking today, sorting through cards. Oh, no problem. I do that a lot of times when I'm working on sorting my cards and going through everything. That is one of the other things that I do. Um, also, uh, when I do finish this afternoon, I have to record some more videos for my uh, morning upstream uploads um, that go from uh, private to a uh, public domain um, so that's what I do also um, and I'll be doing that in a little bit here when we finish up the stream here but that kind of covers through everything here did get shorted an autograph I will holler at tops baseball cards and let them know I missed out on an autograph it says two on card autographs Per box. I'll have to check and see what the asterisk means. They do have an asterisk on that. So I'll, I'll go ahead and read the fine print on the box to make sure you're guaranteed two autographs. It does say two on card autographs per box oh the oh the stipulation or the asterisk says basically <laughs> wesley thomason it's per box on average no it's it it the asterisk it has by the av uh, two autographs per box may contain redemption cards with expiration dates no purchase necessary see pack for details let me see what it says on the pack. Maybe it says something different. 
da, 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 da. Let's see, what's it say here on the back? It says, uh, no relic or artifact contained in this product was sourced from the collections of the National Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum Babe Ruth owned by... Okay. So, I mean, it does... Yeah, it doesn't really say anything on the pack that I can read here, but, oh well, I'll send them an email and see if they do uh, send me an extra autograph that I got shorted, but you never know. Again, when you do open up a box of baseball cards, you're, it's, even though it says two on-card autographs per box, but Overall, I am not too upset with it. I did do pretty good. I got my, I got five, I got three rookie Mariners, along with my five total Seattle Mariners that I did get, and I did pull these other cards. So other than that, at least I can report back to Ethan that when he watches the stream and stuff, I did not pull any bazooka backs out of a Gypsy Queen box. <laughs> will probably be my first and last Gypsy Queen box that I buy this year. Um, I do have a, I believe I've got one or two more blaster boxes left on Gypsy Queen. And that will probably be the extent of my Gypsy Queen product. Um, yeah, it's per box on average. So you didn't get the average. I guess not, but that's okay. I did have fun, did enjoy... Uh, having time online with you guys, watching, seeing, trying, to, it's always fun trying to find um, your favorite team, per se. I did five, find five Seattle Mariners. Three of them were uh, uh, rookie cards. So that was all awesome and exciting to find those. So I got those laid out there. I did get the, of course, the the one autographed uh, Colby Allard. And then I got the uh, Josh Bell with the uh, logo swap, the Gypsy Queen logo swap on top. And then I get the one Arizona Diamondback, Cole Calhoun, with the no name on front. Okay. So that was pretty cool overall. And I highlighted all those cards just a little while ago was some nice pulls overall so other than that let me go ahead and get ready to uh turn my camera around here uh and then also uh, i don't think he really showed up today but i was going to show the card that i pulled yesterday the 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 base the the american flag card that i pulled yesterday out of my fairfield friday so that was an awesome um, I was going to show that, but hopefully if he comes by and either watches the beginning of the stream, the end of the stream, oh, who is that that likes the USA baseball cards? I see him on Ethan's channel a lot on uh, super short print card breaks. Um, but that's why I had this card kind of lurking about also to just let him see that. Again, on the back of the card, this is from a 1991 score product. And I did like this. It says, um, we pray for the safe return of all Americans involved in Operation Desert Storm and for peace throughout the world. This was from score 1991. It is an awesome, beautiful card that I pulled out. And um, just wanted to turn my, my camera around do my signature goodbye before I do sign off for the day. Um, I, the closest I had to a red, white, and blue hat is my uh, Hall of Fame induction for um, the Hall of Fame players. This was with um, the, the Hall of Fame inductees. I just showed that on there. 
and I am wearing an American flag on my t-shirt the United States of America in red, white, and blue. So that is the shirt I wanted to show you I'm wearing today. I almost was going to wear my retiree baseball cap uh, to top it off, but I'll do that for a future stream. Stream. So without further ado, uh, just want to go ahead and get ready to sign off. This is Donald Blondahl, Hall of Fame veteran sports cards and collectibles. Having been live to you from Arlington, Washington, and go, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to sign off. You guys have a great and wonderful day, a great and wonderful weekend. Again, I do take Sundays and Mondays off. I will working, be working on some other stuff to prepare. I'm going to work out in the garage. Um, uh, I don't know. I'm going to see if I'm going to go out for a walk later. Most likely I will. doesn't look like it's raining too hard out there today. So I'll go out for my afternoon walk. It is a cloudy day, which I could probably get a walk in this afternoon. So you guys take care. Have a great and wonderful day. And uh, we will be seeing you guys around the channels probably this weekend sometime. I know uh, Kevin has a baseball card sale tomorrow afternoon. My next big sale will be um, the first Sunday in May, uh, just so you do know. Um, have a good afternoon, everyone. Yes, thanks, Lucky Lucky. Appreciate you being here. Um, Wesley Tonneson, um, you have a good weekend. Also, see everyone around the channels. Going to work out in the garage, says uh, Robert Hone. Okay, uh, Stevens Cards, God bless America. Thank you for saying that. Sports Card Junkie, hope everyone is staying safe. Yes, I am. Three Card Collectors, I believe. Um, Stephen cards, some nice cards were pulled. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready to sign off. I will turn the camera around so you can see my uh, baseball card flag I pulled yesterday. Just so you can see that. Okay. So this is Don Blondahl, Hall of Fame veteran, sports cards and collectibles. Having been live with you this Saturday, you guys have a great and wonderful weekend. And we will see you guys Tuesday morning with my next weekly schedule. Again, go to my About Me tab on my channel. You can see my full schedule. And I do tell you what I do each and every day of the week from Tuesday through Saturday. Okay, so you guys have a great and wonderful weekend. I will see you back with my next live stream, my normally scheduled live stream on Tuesday. All right, you guys have a great and wonderful weekend, and we will see you guys around the channels. Okay, bye for now, and take care. Just wanted to slide those up there. That's my five Seattle Mariners I pulled out of the Gypsy Queen box. You guys have a great and wonderful day, and have a good weekend, okay? Bye for now. All right, you guys take care. I'm going to try this one more time. It didn't let me close down properly. We will see you guys around the channel, okay? See you Tuesday, Don't Have a good afternoon, everyone. And a good weekend. Bye now.